Hi, I'm Sonia, and I am a gardener. I spend a lot of time shoveling poop, <laughs> among other tasks, and it gives me a lot of time to be in my head and think about things. And I try to pray when I do it, so I know I'm getting the right messages. And God said, I need to tell everybody this one thing. Um, we are trying to find an answer to gravity with physics because it affects the movement of objects all over the solar system. And that technically would fall in the realm of physics. When the Holy Spirit spoke through a book called Oh boy, I'm blanking on the book name. Electric Universe. <laughs> Founded in the Wims Bay Library. Fabulous. Started the, the Holy Spirit started dropping breadcrumbs. And I realized over time that the reason we can't figure out gravity is because it's not a principle of physics. It's a principle of chemistry. It's charge-based. And it works in sync with the electromagnetic magnetic fields of the Earth. Okay? So, we know that there are magnetic properties to things and that they stick to the earth. We see magnets work. We know there's a polar north and a polar south. Again, all of a sudden, there's that word polar. So, a chemical principle. And it's interesting. Magnetism is kind of it's one of those things that has a bearing on the physics of things, but it's a chemical principle. It's how those electrons move. So, really, in essence, gravity is not... A molecule and it's not a wave it's a fluctuation of charges but not on big metal lurgy levels but smaller carbonaceous metal levels so where everything larger works off iron positive ion so when we know likes repulse so we've got that highest positive ion pushing up and then so what if within that iron within the dark deep core of the earth there's hydrogen ions they're the only thing that really has no motion in chemistry right because there's no electron moving it's just a positively charged molecule there's no neutron there's nothing there just a positively charged proton so there's technically no physical motion in that so if that physical motion is stillness we could look at stillness and and motion as polar opposites, like positive and negative, right? They could be interchangeably. Stillness is positive, motion is negative, right? Okay? So all molecules are moving on the Earth. Everything's moving all the time. But it's moving because there are electrons present. Lightning, that's electrons wanting to get to the Earth. Why do we know, like, electricity, which is negative moving electrons, wants to go down to the Earth all the time? So what would go up then? technically hydrogen ions. And did you know that in chemistry, hydrogen ions are really hard to get free. They just want to float away. So they use something called a palladium catalyst. Don't need to go into the deep chemistry, but they just barely hold on to those positively charged molecules so they don't float away and react with something. Until what we want to react with those hydrogen mo molecules swoops across the top and picks them up. So we know that electricity wants to go down, electrons want to go down, electrons want to go down to the earth, and hydrogen ions want to go up, 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 up. So there's our polar opposites. Pretty much everything in chemistry has molecules moving. So motion on the earth, we see the earth's rotation, we see the atmosphere moving, the water's moving, nothing's still, nothing is still. So down to the molecules, like I'm saying, here's that stillness. Within the motion, nothing is still. Nothing is still except for those hydrogen ions when they're not with something. So what if the hydrogen ion core underneath, or hydrogen ion core underneath the iron mantle is what holds all of this <laughs> to the earth, <laughs> right? Just a thought. Enjoy your day.